The model method makes use of very basic representations of word problems, usually rectangles. Crucial information of the problem is reflected onto the models. Setting each model rectangle side by side shows the relationship that exists between different entities or events in the problem. The model is devised from the draw and diagram heuristic method. That means it is a subset of the draw and diagram model. If your student or child has been taught using Singapore math syllabus, he or she may be introduced to the model drawing method, or bar method. The two common methods are the part-whole model and the comparison model. Let's look at the part-whole model. Let's consider this simple word problem. John has four stamps. Mary has five stamps. How many stamps do they have altogether? We can use concrete objects to form two groups of stamps, and put them together to explain the concept of addition. 4 plus 5 equals to 9. We can also draw a model to relate the problem. Draw a shorter rectangle to represent the number of stamps belong to John. A longer rectangle to represent number of stamps belong to Mary. This model can be visualized as a whole made up of two parts. 4 plus 5 equals to 9. They have 9 stamps altogether. In the part whole model shown previously, there is a relationship being established among the three quantities. The whole and two parts. Let's look at the comparison model. Let's consider this word problem. There are two more lemons than the apples. If there are six lemons, how many apples are there? We can match the lemons and the apples one to one to compare their numbers. Since there are six lemons and it is two more than apples, two of the apples need to be removed or crossed out. The difference between the two numbers is two. We can also use a pictorial model to represent the problem as shown on the left. Two rectangles are drawn. They are to make comparison to find the difference. Hence, 6 minus 2 equals to 4. There are 4 apples. That's all for now. Please subscribe our channel to receive our update. See you again.